Hi there! Terhi Koskinen here again with uh, Mar- March Hip Kits, especially this wonderful um, March color kit, which included these watercolors from Wiki Putin for American Crafts and also a nice silver texture paste for from Wiki Putin. Uh, I'm going to start to make some kind of color swatches for myself for these water, watercolors because there wasn't any inside and I just decided to do it on watercolor paper and do small boxes for each color. As you see I'm not making <laughs> any really good measures for the colors but I'm going to do something and then I will cut it out and put it inside the box so next time that I'm using the colors I know what to use. Uh, this has this nice um, flip uh, corks or something like that, but they are not working as well as I hoped uh, because the, all, the, almost the whole butter will um, broke down if I'm going to use these. So I need something sharp to do a small hole to each bottle and like this, it can happen. Some of the bottles are uh, like really um, filled up with air and the paint, the color, and they are like going all over the place. But I think this is just for the first time. Next time they are not so full of everything. I can see even now that the colors are not exactly what the um, tags on the on top of the bottle says because the yellows are really similar in the box but now that they are out of the bottles they are looking really different so that's why I like to use the color swatches to see actually that what I'm going to use um, it wouldn't be that nice to start doing a layout or even do lots of layers first and then put some kind of color on top and you don't have the actual color on top, it's something else. But I really like the colors now that I see them um, on the watercolor paper. They are really vibrant and um, they are easy to blend. Of course you have to mix it up with water really good. You don't want to have to um, pick pop of the color in your brush so you need to make sure that it's mixed up well. I'm adding some water to it. I'm using this nice medicine tool which my kids used when they were little, not anymore. Anyway, um, it's nice way you don't have to add the water with any brush or something like that. But now I'm just um, going to paint a little area with each paint. The first yellow is quite dark, almost orange yellow, then there's really light, beautiful, fresh yellow, and then we have this quite orange orange. It's, oh, uh-huh, whoops, it's going to the yellow. It would be easier that you would do every each, um, every other first and let try and then all the others. But as I usually go with the easiest way <laughs> and the fastest way, I'm doing them all. As you see, now this red has a lot of the color inside. It should be much more... Uh, I should add much more water to it compared to the oranges, which are m- way different. And here's the brown too. I think these are really nice. And then I'm going to do the other side of the color box. Starting with the white and the black and then all the greens and blues and purple. There's there's lots of beautiful greens and blues. Well, they are my favorite color, so that's not a surprise. Um, Today I thought about doing some mixed media backgrounds ready to use with my March hip kits. Um, and obviously I'm going to use these watercolors to all of the backgrounds. Um, 
during this weekend, now in the Easter, my family has been um, celebrating life without me, <laughs> if you want to say it in a nice way. No, they are just um, enjoying the countryside and I, I felt like staying home and do some crafts because I can do that in our cabin. Anyway, um, so I decided to do lots of stuff and it's nice to start with doing some backgrounds. Here you can see now the colors. I think these are really nice. I also made a little numbers for each one and also wrote the numbers to the bottles so if they mix up it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, my idea is to make some kind of ready-made backgrounds so that I can easily use them when I don't have that much time to do everything. I prepared this page first with uh, clear gesso and now I'm just adding some of my favorite colors to the background. Already I can see that I'm not going to use this layout even though I'm doing it right now because the colors are too bright for my use. But I will keep this page and probably cut out parts of the colored areas and do some die cuts of them or something like that. Whoops! Now I messed up, but it doesn't matter. I will fix that. Uh, anyway, um, I will not uh, throw away this paper. I just will use it some other way. Because it's nice to see those um, new colors, new for me at least, um, in this way that they are in bigger area. Also I can see how they blend, how they are going to which page and everything like that. So the other page is that I'm going to do some kind of traffic light system, almost. Um, first this kind of uh, green splash and then yellow and then red one. Uh, also this page has been prepared with um, gesso first because I want to make sure that the colors won't suck up to the paper too quickly. I'm going to use two of the yellows for the yellow splash because the first yellow is so light that it needs a bit of something more. And again I can see that the colors are going into the corners of the painted area so I will add something more. Of course the paper will will be um, doing a lot of this if you have a watercolor paper in even even surface it will be easier than with regular white cardstock which I'm using and and it's not that good that watercolor paper but anyway I want to use this this were in um, Pip Git Lab March paper kit cardstock kit uh, actually so I want to use them uh, this kind of making ready backgrounds is nice because once they are ready I can easily do it uh, the whole layout during the night or something like that and I didn't have to use heat gun which is nice. Uh, the third background will be like really my style because there's a doodle uh, circles and then I'm going to use this nice uh, silver texture paste which we had in the March color kit. Um, I'm just using a stencil from previous hip kit. I think this was in January or February kit. I really don't remember, so please forgive me. Anyway, um, I'm going to just add some texture to the background and then splash some watercolors on top. Now this paper, um, I didn't use any gesso first. So that's why I'm not like painting with the watercolors. I'm just blessing some, some colors on top. And that way I'm doing this layout. This is something that I'm actually going to use as well as the traffic light um, watercolor background. These are nice, I think. And what I really like about these uh, watercolors is that you can easily mix the colors, as you see. I just added um, a little bit of uh, 
couple of the red colors and I think I added a bit of purple color too to the middle and then you can add as much water or white color as you wish and then it's ready. You can have all the colors you want. But now I have three backgrounds ready which I'm going to use at least two of them. Um, but I'm having a <laughs> I'm having an idea uh, which came up from the traffic light uh, background and also the first one with the crete kind of background. I'm drawing some lines to the background to see that where I'm going to stamp and I'm going to use this nice big bloom from Vicky Putin and just going to stamp the bloom uh, to each grid um, a little different angle with the Warsaw Mark ink you can see it right now but in, a, in just a minute you will see it uh, I'm going to use it with white embossing powder which is also from one of the previous hip kit uh, I really don't remember which one, but anyway, um, I'm stamping nine flowers and now adding the power and then going to heat it up to activate the heat embossing powder. Um, then I'm going to use the watercolors on top, which is always nice. Again, I didn't add any gesso for this uh, background. Either because I thought it would be quite easy to do with um, without any gesso. Uh, the embossing powder will keep the paper quite straight uh, even though I play with watercolors on top. Now that I used this uh, white embossing powder I can easily draw outside the lines which I can do really really easily. Um, I want to make those uh, blooms really pop up, so that's why I want to um, color outside the lines to make sure that you can actually see there's a <laughs> flower going on. And I'm going to do um, like bluish, bluish turquoise, <laughs> teal green, something like that. No, it's turquoise. Um, yeah, all the each other are turquoise and all others are greenish. This is really forest green, the green I used and I really like it. I think I numbered it with number 11 to my Vicky Putin watercolor puddles. Anyway, the background is ready like that. It was really easy to make and now I'm just going to um, choose the photograph which you can see there. And as this is the first layout I'm going to do with the March hip kits, I have to do some scraps of paper because I haven't uh, used these papers before. There are lots of papers from Bebel's Patio Party um, line, which I really adore. There's also this beautiful marble uh, pattern paper from Dear Lizzie Stay Colorful line and then there's some from Maggie Holmes Flores and I really like the combination of these papers because they all match together so well. Uh, even though the background is all greens and blues I want to add a little puff of yellow with the paper patterned papers to kind of pop up the picture. If I would use only greens and blues for the um, photograph too, it would be a little trickier. This uh, green paper is <laughs> a little curved cord, uh, because um, I cut some leaves with my silhouette and I didn't take the paper off from the surface in the right way. I just rip it off and now it's a bit curly, but who cares, it will work anyway. So, um, next I will just add here my paper pile, 
on top of the background actually to the side of the background because I want to make sure that those beautiful plumes are really visible on my layout uh, and that's why I'm adding the photograph to the right side of the layout. It's not centered this time even though usually my layouts are like something on left and something on right and that's it. But this time I'm going to do it like this. And of course I'm adding some track between the paper layers and the photograph and using some glue because I'm using some thread and it will not stick with only those 3D foams I'm using. So that's it and then it's all about decorating and embellishing the layout. I'm not going to add any super long title for this layout because I I, I really want to focus on the flowers because they are so pretty. I'm so happy that I used the embossing technique for this layout because it's so beautiful. And sometimes you just need to do those backgrounds for a while before you are happy with them and you find the right inspiration for the layout you are doing. But I'm sure I will use a couple of the backgrounds I did before and you can see them on my blog, on my Instagram or somewhere um, during the next month. Uh, I'm not going to do process videos of those, but I am promise to do another process video of these mods, hip kit, um, hip kit kits <laughs> before I jump into the next ones. So these are these beautiful canvas uh, stickers from Pink Fresh Studio and I uh, just pick up some to use and I'm thinking if I would do a couple of um, uh, How to say it a couple of Things on top of the flowers, but then again, I really want to have the flowers like visible and I don't want to add anything on top so this is just planning and designing but no, no, it won't work like that. It would be too much and too, too everywhere, so nope. But I really like these uh, bags, as they are fabric, so they are really nice to have different kind of um, uh, things on your layout. These are really matte and fabric, and then there's those stickers, which are really shiny stickers, and something cold and something matte, and everything like that. Um, my little title would be XOXO, <laughs> really surprising I think, no just kidding, um, but I'm going to uh, pop, it out, pop it out with uh, 3D foam on top of the plume, on top of the photograph, so it will be nicer. And I will finish the layout with uh, these adhesive beads, which are super extra small, but I really like them. And I think they are giving the uh, just the right extra thing for the layout. And as I have a drop of gold in that butterfly I added there, I think this gold mist is like the final touch for the layout. So thank you for watching and I really hope you liked it. And sorry for this video was so long, but sometimes that happens. Uh, anyway, we'll see you soon again and again thank you for watching my video. Bye!